Yo, it's Friday and Foot Locker's having trouble with KD and LeBron, a peek at the new Yeezy Boost, and it looks like the crying Jordan meme is never going to go away. I am Jacques Slade and this is Today in Sneaks. It's right before the weekend, so I'll make it quick for you guys if you happen to tune into the Foot Locker earnings call today because you know you do that sort of thing. You may have heard that Foot Locker president and CEO Dick Johnson says primary losses came in LeBron and KD product, a challenge which we've been addressing with our partners at Nike. At Nike. Nike. Nike, actually. Basically, he is saying that LeBron and KDs are sitting on shelves because they cost too much and kids would rather spend their money on Curry's and Kyrie's. However, don't read too much into this as Nike is already expected to drop the price of the KD9 to $150 when they release in June. No word on the pricing for the LeBron 14. If you don't know about the crying Jordan meme, you probably haven't been on the internet the last few years. Today, the folks over at Two Point Lead put together a video with the guy that took the original picture of Jordan crying. Now, for those of you that don't know, the actual full image looks like this. It was taken during Jordan's Hall of Fame acceptance speech back in 2009, and it really didn't take off until 2014, according to the story. The funny thing is that the photographer that took the photo, he had no idea that this was even happening until a reporter called him to ask him about it. I'll add a link to the full story at the end of the video so you can check it all out. Being the son of Michael Jordan has its privileges, and one of those is getting exclusive versions of Air Jordans for the opening of your shoe store. Looking to be a store unlike any other, Marcus Jordan showed off an exclusive Air Jordan 4 to celebrate the grand opening of Trophy Room. The model rocks an ash gray upper for the majority of the shoe with touches of black and metallic gold accents, which you can see in their logo. As of now, these are said to be a one of one, but you never know when it comes to Jordan brand. Trophy Room officially opens on May 23rd in Town Center at Disney Springs in Orlando, which is the same day that they will be dropping the exclusive limited edition Trophy Room Air Jordan 23. Yeezy season is back! At least we all think it is. According to his wife, the superstar rapper's next version of the 750 Boost is ready to go and there are seating pairs ready to hit the wire. Over on Kim's Snapchat, she showed sacks of the shoe which feature a gray upper and a gum outsole that glows in the dark. As for a release date, well, there really isn't one at this point, but seeing that these pairs are in the hands of Kanye, the retail release probably isn't that far away. Maybe a couple months? Again, there is no official release date at the moment and Adidas has yet to chime in with any official information. Now, the official images of the Air Jordan 12 flu game have hit the web, and like I said in the unboxing, they look great. Now, officially, the colors are black and varsity red, and these stay pretty true to the original pairs that released back in 1997. As the story goes, Jordan was sick with the flu the morning before the game, but some evidence has surfaced that disputes that claim. You have to check out the unboxing I did to get the other side of that story, and you can find out how you can actually win a pair. Check out the card that should pop up over here or over here, like right now. Either way, look for these to arrive at retailers this weekend in their remastered form, or I should say next weekend in their remastered form for $190. For the last video, I asked if LeBron was worth the reported $1 billion he could get for his lifetime deal with Nike. This is what QB Coach 12 had to say. I don't know if this is what he sounds like. I don't think LeBron will ever mean to Nike what Jordan did, unless this billion dollar deal ends up in LeBron having a LeBron brand company through Nike when he's done playing. I just don't see people doing things for LeBron sneakers that people do for Jordan. I have no idea if that's how he really sounds, but in my head, that's what he sounded like. As for the question of the video, I want to know what you think about the new colorway of the Yeezy 750 Boost. I think I like that glow in the dark outsole. I'm just not sure yet. Let me know what you think down below. That's what I rock today. It is, <laughs> it is this shoe, the Air Jordan 12 Flu Games. Uh, again, these release next weekend, and these are really good. Really like the leather on these. Uh, if you want to find out how to win a pair, again, uh, I'll put a link down in the description so you can follow that and you can enter the contest. Um, as always, uh, I am Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks. If you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something awesome is happening right here on this channel. As always, guys, I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon. Peace. All right. Wow, sorry guys. So, uh, let's see. I don't know what this is. Oh, wow. Vault in LA, I got really lucky and won the raffle. So let's stop all of the chit chat and get right to it. So I have two pairs 